Hello, this is Tom Platts of Three. Uh, my introduction. All right, create free image plane. We pick our image. Very easy. Um, scale tools over there. It's also E on the keyboard. Move tool. That's W. Um, that uh, I usually just hit spacebar. So watch. I'll just tap spacebar here after disabling the grid because it's annoying. So there you can see tapping spacebar. It brings up that menu. Uh, and if you just tap it rapidly, it switches between the one and four views. Uh, there you go, creating a cube. Uh, you can just click up the top left there. Hold right click to bring up that marking menu with the vertices thing. Right click again, holding it down. Go back to object mode. Here's a rotate tool, uh, whatever the hotkey is, I don't care. J, holding J snaps. Stupid, stupid hotkey there. Really, really dumb. But uh, anyway, it's J by default. You can also snap scale and, and uh, there you go. Uh, what is that, x-ray mode, that little button there? Pretty useful when you're modeling with planes. What is this, a square? Oh, that was kind of lame. I think uh, that was shift right click to bring up that menu. I was in object mode with nothing selected. So object mode, nothing selected, shift right click. There you go, and it brings this menu up. Cool. Uh, what I do here, I press T. Uh, so the last action was creating the cube. So bringing up T, I don't know what that menu is called, but the hotkey was T that brought that up. Uh, you can do that with extrudes or bevels or anything, just uh, to modify it. I'm going to blow my nose. Um, here, uh, so what is it? Control A switches between those two windows? I don't know why. Anyway, so I reset the scale. I set all the scale to, to one again, as you can see. Oh, and then I just froze the transforms. You'll have to Google that one. I don't care to explain it. I used the hotkey. Uh, there you go. You can... Um, I don't know if you saw that, doesn't matter. <clears throat> Here we go, perspective view. So I'm gonna select the edge, shift right click, merge edges, uh, and then G to repeat the command on the other side. Uh, this is real time by the way. <laughs> this video is not sped up. So grid off, ambient occlusion, that's a cool one. And then, um, what's that called, anti-aliasing. Uh, you can just create lights, directional light. Then we're going to add, uh, allow lighting in the viewport, and that was shadows next to it as well. Uh, there you go, directional light, illuminating them beautifully. That's superb lighting. Um, yeah, you got one, number one makes them blocky, number three uh, gives you a subdivision preview. Uh, here we go, I'm using the multi-cut tool to add edge loops. So there you go, that's how you do that kind of sub D modeling. Pretty easy, that one's a bevel there, that's got some custom stuff. Um, applied for it already. So that's just my bevel hotkey, uh, Alt B or whatever. There you go, chopping this up. Uh, whatever. <sighs> Bollocks, man. Now, I didn't expect to be doing a voiceover, so this is some in, in, um, in my text subtitles. Live subtitles. It's pretty good. Um, yeah, and I, I realized at this point I forgot to show how to extrude. I mean, there's, you know, bridging and extrude and whatever. You can figure all that out yourself after you can move around and build some squares and whatever. Oh man, Maya is so good. This is so pleasant for me to rewatch because it's such a good program. It's so much better than Blender. Alright, I thought that button there, I thought that button was the multi-cut button, but I guess it's not. Dude, I don't know. Oh, look. Wow. That's crazy. It's like I read my own mind. All right. What's he going to say this time? The cut tool. The cut tool I'm using is called multi cut tool. Google it. Yeah, that's some good advice for you, three. All right, here we go. Now I'm going to show you how to extrude. So we go into face mode, shift, uh, whatever, right click without pressing shift. That was holding shift to drag it out. There you go, there's a the button for it, uh, if you're a noob. You also do Alt E or whatever, Control E, that's how I do it. All right, and watch this magic trick here. I'm gonna go back, we're gonna go, oh, Blender, my eyes got no modifier stack. Actually, look, we go to that previous extrude face. That's uh, the second last one I did. We'll set that to three. Wow! Did you know you can do that in Maya? What a powerful program.
Whoa, Maya! Three modeling stack? Maya, yeah. Anyway, um, thanks for watching, guys.